We are going to work on the detail view to get the reviews for the movie and hopefully this will be the last video of this series so let's first let's start by first having a switch statement in here for the for the vm dot selected section and then then we can have a case value of about and then a case value of a review so for now we can just put a test for the review and for this about i think we may have a value in the movie so we can have vm.movie dot maybe this overview i guess and then yeah that's it so let's just first have a function in here but before the function we need to have a service so let's start by having a private service let's name it as movie service and we need to get the movie service here and then we can have function uh, maybe like fetch reviews it will be an async function and then we can have the catch block here for the error let's print the error and let's just have okay so we don't have a model for it so I already have this review uh, example from the API documentation so we can instantly uh, pause this and now we got our data model so we can just copy them and go back to our model and add a Swift file name it as review now we can paste it here so let's name this as review response and then we can name this as review so change it here now author details I guess that's fine so we just have to make sure that the author details are not null because I just realized sometimes they can be null so I guess that's all for this so now we just need to have few extension in here the first extension is for the review so we need to get the author name author name can be present in the author details so let's just see if it's not null then we can have uh, okay we actually have to we need to have an extension first for the author details because it has username and name two values so we just have to check which of them is the most accurate to show so we can have maybe as author name and then we can just check if name dot team characters uh, check if it's not empty then we can use the okay so let's just check if dot is empty if it's empty we can use the username and if it's not empty we can use the author name and yeah so now we can have the author name if it's null then I guess we can go with this author string is a string value so we can go with the author so and then we need the author image let's say author image equals to author details question mark dot avatar path and let's if it's done let's start with this you just have to check if image dot start with this slash forward slash then we just need to remove it from the image because I just uh, observed during the test that sometime we can get this value so we just have to remove this we just need to drop, drop the first one and then in the last we can simply return image so that's it for this I guess yeah now we can go into our detail view model and we can have this is a response equals to try a which movie service dot fetch data for api constructor endpoint is movie reviews and for the movie id we have this i guess movie ok 
can just use the ID from here and then we need to have an I guess list or array let's name it as review it will be a list of review so let's name it make it the main actor and then we can just have our reviews equals to response dot result so that's it for fetching review now we can just have a new task in here and we can fetch the reviews so now after having review we need to have a call for the review so we need to go back to our base more base folder and then we need to create a new view let's name it as review call and in here of course we first need to have a review so let's name it as review and then in here let's have a review and we actually need to use the dev for this but we don't have any review in the dev for now so let's just create a new review and let's have let's just say the author maybe as test author author details let's pass nil and content maybe the test content created it uh, let's just have something test id maybe like test updated it let's pass in test url let's pass in test so now in our review code we can just use dev dot review and just we can actually we already have the id so we can confirm to identifiable and in here we are going to have a v stack first with alignment of leading and then we need to have an h stack and yeah we are going to show the author so let's just show the author name so we have already an extension for that and then just choose four pins maybe i guess medium should look good of 16 and then for the image we can use the custom image uh, but uh, not sure how it will look so i guess let's try it and for the width let's have 45 0 five zero oh actually we have a dependency that it works with the movie so we cannot use it it's not good to have a dependency like this it should uh, the custom image should work with the images not with any data structure but it's uh, the way we have things for now so let's just keep it that way for the url we will actually utilize this async image directly so for the url let's have the review dot author image i guess that's the extension we just created and then we can have the image in here for the placeholder okay so for the placeholder let's have a z stack and then we can have color maybe color one gray color one and if we have the let's just say first jar equals to review dot author name dot first this is the first character and if we can have it we can just you know show the first character of the name of the author while we are fetching the image for them or if in case we are failed to fetch the image and once we have the image we will just uh, resize it okay and then and then we can just scale to fill and then we can set the frame width 45 height 45 and then we can clip it i guess to circle so that's it and then after the edge tag we are going to have the review of the author so it will be the review the content and uh, let's have the light version of the content and then in the last we are going to show a line so that's our review card we can go back to our detail view and instead of the text now we can have a for each in here and 
we can have vm dot i guess reviews yes and then a review in and then we can have a review called passing in the review so i guess this will show our reviews for the movie we can load the canvas to just verify it quickly okay so the issue is uh, this is still the data coming from the preview provider so I guess we can just go to the home view instead and have some real data for the detail let's click on it nice so we have the overview of the movie and these are the images they are getting loaded so let's start or let's click on the reviews to see if we have some review for this movie I guess we don't or it's maybe because of some error but let's try for some other movie maybe yeah let's try for the avatar okay we don't have reviews are not coming up so this may be because of some issue so let's see okay so that's it I guess it's an issue so what we need to do in here the same thing we did actually we can have in detail view we can have a publish for error message and then we can have it here and then we can go into the detail view and maybe after, after this we can have a text for this vm.error message and let's see if we are getting some error yeah we are actually getting the error it says no value associated with coding keys page so we are not i guess we we don't need this so we can just remove them we are not interested we are only interested in the result so we can just clean this up and let this be our result only so i guess we Okay, so it's the issue. Oh, I think we don't need to use this coding key anymore. We can just simply go with it's just one value and it's already in proper shape. So let's try this now. Okay, so we still have issues and it says that there is no value associated so I guess this may be because we may have a wrong endpoint yeah I guess we forgot to put the slash in here so make sure you have this slash otherwise we are going to receive errors like this Let's try it this time. Nice. So the views are coming in, but we just have a little issue, I guess. It's, it's just because we are not utilizing the, we don't have a scroll view. So I guess we should put this, or maybe we can only put this for each into a scroll view. We don't want to scroll every part of the screen. So let's have a VStack and then let's have the reviews in here so that the reviews are scrollable, not every other part of the screen. 
so let's see if it's fine yeah nice so you can actually uh, it's, it's up to you if you want to scroll you can scroll other part of the screen but if, I guess only scrolling the reviews is fine so let's see for some other movie so it looks very nice we have reviews so I guess that's all so that's all for this series and there are a few things that you can implement on your own you can just try to do maybe implement a search like if you search for some movie so maybe you can uh, filter this data that is already present or maybe you can call a view model for it uh, view model call because we have a lot of endpoints from this API so you can you utilize them and we are not showing the trending movies but we are fetching them I guess yeah yeah top rated I guess is the one we are fetching but not displaying so you may have a section for them so it's up to you you can do at your own so that's it from this series and see you in some other series best of luck thank you